It's a dreary and wet day here in Massachusetts. I have before me a flathead motor that I picked up for my 47 panel truck. Now it turns out this is a 1953 flathead, four-speed transmission. I have all the mechanical brake, parking brake stuff, as well as some drive shafts. So I thought, well, I better start trying to free this thing up, spray it down with some PB blaster, clean it all off. I've been hosing off the layers and layers of crud. Of course, I broke off a few of the spark plugs on doing it. And uh, I started, I thought, well, you know, I better, I better fill this motor up with some uh, marvelous mystery oil, which I did. Only, I don't know if you can see down there, only to learn that the uh, drain plug is missing. Yeah. So, of course, a few gallons of my mystery oil came out. But uh, I'm just beginning to dig into this motor. I picked up a great book teaching me all about flatheads and high performance. And naturally, this motor is going to cost me far more than I could possibly ever imagine to make function unless I leave her bone stock and I'm fairly certain that whatever's going on inside of this where it sat in the field in Connecticut for so long probably involves mice and frozen steel items but that's okay it's not like I'm gonna have this thing on the road tomorrow so it's just kind of a slow pick at it project I think this is a nice base V8 to work with and uh, I'm kind of excited about where it's going, but as I take it apart, I'll keep you posted on my 1953 Ford V8 motor. One of three particular cubic inch dimensions. I still haven't figured that out. More news to come.